With two of the best strikers in the whole of the game, the Bundesliga is always going to be a fun save. In this video, we're going to be looking through how to play this realistically. We'll be looking at the squad rules, where to scout, what kind of player ratings you need to look at, which teams have stadiums, where the best places to send your youth academies are, and much, much more. As always, we've got chapters along the bottom of the video bar, so do skip ahead if you're not interested in the part we're talking about at that point. Anyway, let's get started with the squad rules. Now, Bundesliga is actually super easy for squad rules. They have a maximum of 99 players registered, which is never gonna be an issue on FIFA. You have to have at least four local players in your squad. A local player counts as someone who spent at least three years at the club up to the age of 21. So this could be a Brazilian who's moved on his 18th birthday and spent three years at the club. He would count as a local player in the Bundesliga and every single team is required to have at least 12 German nationals in their squad. This rule was put into place to try and make talent reach all the way up to the national team, and I think it's been very successful, as you can see with the World Cup and Euro wins that Germany recently had. A huge amount of the success actually came from the amazing youth academy setup that Germany has. You'll find a lot of high potential talent, not only in your youth academy with generated players, but almost every team has at least one player with above 85 potential. Anyway, we're going to be looking at the generated players quickly now and looking to where to send your scouts for your youth academy. Now, of course, you're going to want to scout Germany, but you're also going to want to pick two of either Netherlands, Poland, France, Austria, Cameroon, Switzerland, Brazil, or Croatia. Don't worry if you didn't catch any of those because I've put them all in the description so check that out at the end of the video. So these are the most common nationalities that you'll find in the Bundesliga. Of course, Germany is by far and away the most common nationality, but you will find quite a lot of players who are either half German and half Polish, half German, half Austrian, Cameroon, Switzerland. A lot of intermingling happens in Germany. Personally, I would scout Germany, Poland, and then I'd also scout whatever the nearest nation is to your club. So if you're playing in the East, somewhere like Leipzig, then you might want to pick somewhere like Czech Republic to scout because it's obviously very close to where Leipzig is. If you're playing someone all the way on the West, then you're going to want to pick somewhere like France or Belgium, just because that's the closest nation and you'll see a lot of people with those nationalities in that region. As I mentioned before, the Bundesliga has some very high potential players. But the league also does have quite a low average overall for the standard that you think the Bundesliga is. Compared to England and Spain, it is quite obviously below that on overall ratings. It's on par with the likes of Italy and slightly ahead of France. So what kind of overall ratings should you be keeping your players at? So of course, 90 plus rated players in any league are going to be very rare. Bayern Munich actually has two, and I think that's the only case you can really justify having more than one, is if you are a Bayern Munich level title challenging team. They of course have Lewandowski and Neuer, who are both getting quite old and both have never left the Bundesliga. So that might be something to do if you want a world-class player, pick one out of the Bundesliga already. If you get an 84 to an 89 overall player, they're going to be the absolute best in the Bundesliga. This is people like Sancho, Royce, Muller, those high potential players who actually live to see their potential and they were stars of the league for quite some time. 78 to 83 overall are people who are going to be good in the Bundesliga. I mean, they might not be stars, but they are going to be able. And if you've got the right sort of stat distribution, you will probably will be able to win a league with just players in this range. Anyone between 74 and 77 would be average in the Bundesliga, but would be an absolute star player in the second Bundesliga. So if you're at that level still, or you've been relegated, you should be going for 74 to 77. Going even further down the list, anyone between 73 and 65 would be good for the second Bundesliga. Anyone between 66 and 60 is good for the third Bundesliga. So you're not really going to be introduced to many of these players, but if you are loaning them out, then that's the sort of tiers you need to be focusing on to try and get them good game time. So now you know a little bit more about the league and the players and the youth academy and what kind of players you should be signing. So let's have a look at which teams you should be picking. So of course Bayern Munich are basically in a tier to themselves. I've split the league up into four and I'd say Bayern Munich, you can easily win the league with them no matter your skill level. The next level of teams are the ones who have potential to actually get up there and challenge. So this is Borussia Dortmund, Leipzig and Borussia Mönchengladbach. These all have good potential players, they have real stadiums as well, and of course you'll probably know quite a lot of the players at these teams. 
just below this level, you have the teams that are sort of there or thereabouts. They might be able to play in Europe, but they all have very similar ratings. So this includes Leverkusen, Wolfsburg, Hoffenheim, Hertha Berlin, Stuttgart, all very average teams. And you can see any of them being in that sort of sixth to 10th place range at the end of the season. Finally, if you want a Road to Glory team, then you've got Bochum and you have Greuther Firth. Now these are pretty low rated teams, they don't have great players, they don't have massive budgets, and unfortunately you can't pick Schalke this year of course because they did get relegated. I'll leave it up to you which team you pick, but honestly if you want a good challenge I'd go for someone like FC Köln or FC Augsburg who both have big budgets, average squads, but have good stadiums in game. Stadiums are actually one of the most important things to people who play FIFA. Now, Bundesliga and the second Bundesliga actually have a lot of stadiums. I think only Bayern Munich's missing one from the Bundesliga. And in the second division, you also have another eight or so stadiums. This includes some of the most likely teams to get promoted. People like Werder Bremen, Hamburg and Schalke all have real stadiums. So by the end of the first or second season, you won't be losing these stadiums to play in generic ones with the new promoted teams. For a full list, check out the description where I've pasted them all in so you can read through and see if the team you want to pick has a stadium. Okay, let's finally have a look at where the transfers are coming from and what kind of transfers would be realistic for the league. So the two most common places for a player to come from in the Bundesliga is Eastern Europe or Africa. Now, a lot of the African players are two nationalities. They might be um, Cameroonian and German like Makoko, or they might be from Ghana and Germany like one of the Boateng brothers. But signing African players is definitely realistic if you're playing in the Bundesliga. Of course, there is a huge amount of domestic players too, but signing African and Eastern European, especially Croatia, Poland and Czech Republic nationality players is very, very common. Most teams in the league have around 20 foreign players, despite them needing 12 German players as well. But because of the massive squad limits, you will see a lot of different nationalities in the team that you pick's squad roster. So it's up to you where you sign the players from. As I mentioned before, Eastern Europe and Africa are the two main places as well as Germany. But anyway, that's all we have time for in today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully you enjoy your Bundesliga career mode. If you're a fan of a Bundesliga team, even if it's just your second favourite team instead of a different one, maybe from England or Spain, please do let me know in the comments because it's always nice to see who you guys support. As well, if you're going to do a save in the Bundesliga, please do message on the Discord where we have quite a lot of German speaking people who can help you out with realistic signings or tell you a bit more about your team that you might not know on Google or Wikipedia. So check out the Discord, it's in the description below. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's video and I'll hopefully see you very soon for the next League Guide, Team Guide, Challenge or Tip video on the Geography for Channel. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you soon. Cheers.